In this video, I will show you how to factory reset your Xbox console. What I'm about to show you works with Xbox One and Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S consoles. So it works for the previous generation Xbox consoles and of course the current versions and generations of the Xbox console, the Series S and the Series X. There are a few reasons why you might want to factory reset your Xbox console. Maybe you're selling your Xbox and you want to make sure there is no personalized data on the Xbox, meaning your email account, your Xbox Live account, payment information, game downloads and more will be removed from the Xbox console once you factory reset your Xbox console, meaning that you can now sell your Xbox console without having to worry about somebody else gaining access to your data. Another reason why you might want to factory reset your Xbox console is because you're running into operating system issues. When you're having issues with your Xbox console's operating system, for example, a bug which is making your games crash and updates that are causing an issue with your console, you might want to factory reset your console so you can start from scratch and not have those bugs that may be causing your Xbox issues when loading games or within a game. So now I've gone over the reasons why you might want to factory reset your Xbox console, I'm going to actually talk about what factory resetting your console does for your Xbox. As previously mentioned, factory resetting your Xbox console will remove any data that you have added to your Xbox console. This includes Xbox Live profiles, payment information, for example if you've added a debit card or credit card to make payments on your Xbox and of course if you've added any PayPal accounts like what I've shown you in other videos here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. This will all be removed as well as any updates you've applied to your Xbox console. But there is more to learn and I'm going to show you in a moment how you can keep your games on your Xbox console even when factory resetting. I needed to give you that information before you follow along and factory reset your Xbox console just to let you know what you will be doing when you complete this process. And now that I've got that out of the way, the safety disclaimer if you will, let's get into the video and I'll show you step by step how to factory reset your Xbox console. So here we are on my Xbox dashboard. You can see that the settings is on the home screen because I've recently visited. But for demonstration purposes, I want you to press your Xbox home button on your controller. Press the home button now. This will open up a side menu. When here, I want you to scroll over to the far right using your D-pad or joystick. Then while on the profile and systems menu, scroll down to settings and select the settings. This will then open up the general tab within your settings. You can also see account, system, devices and connections, preferences and ease of access. I want you to scroll down to system. On this menu, you will see console info, updates, language and location, time, backup and transfer, signed out content restrictions and storage. I want you to select console info. Navigate to the console info and then press the A button to select. On this page, you will be able to find out information about your Xbox console. I've censored this for data protection reasons and for privacy reasons. If you are sending your Xbox console for serious repair using the warranty that you have with your Xbox console to a Microsoft Center, this is the information that you will need. But for this video, I want you to scroll down to Reset Console. Select Reset Console. This will then bring you to the next page which reads, if you reset, your console will restart and erase all accounts, saved games, settings and home Xbox associations. You can choose whether to keep or erase your installed games and apps. Now, as mentioned at the start of the video, we are going to remove absolutely everything from our Xbox console. And to do this, you need to select reset and remove everything 
to start the console fresh. While selected, press A to start the process. Let's factory reset your Xbox console today. So if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. I upload content surrounding three main niche, gaming, editing, and online money. If you have any additional queries or questions, you can always reach me in the comments section down below. Or maybe you just wanna to talk to me about how you've enjoyed the video or something about the video or something about your gaming. I'm here and I'm active here on my YouTube channel and ready to talk to you, my YouTube viewers. But don't click away from this video just yet. I've got more content that you will find interesting if you've made it this far in this video. And just some of that content will be in the end screen that is appearing on screen in a moment. And I also have playlists that I've built for you so you can find the content that is right for you. Now with all that said, we've got another video coming up right away in the end screen, like I've just mentioned, and that end screen will be coming up in three, two, one. Thank you for watching this video here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel.